Hey, so what's up guys, Matt here with Droid Tech, bringing you another video for this week. And actually, I just came back from a meeting with the distributor and actually they gave me something for P20 Pro users. So I think you're going to be pretty excited. If you're looking for a good screen protector for your P20 Pro, I, I honestly have never tested this brand. So here it goes. This is Panzer Glass. You've probably never heard of Panzer Glass, but actually Panzer Glass is a Danish company. It was originated in Denmark. So, they claim that their screen protectors are really good, but I mean, which manufacturer doesn't claim that their screen protector is really good? To me, it's all just marketing fluff, unless you put it to the test in the real world, like, you know, on a daily basis where you use the screen protector. I personally actually am using another screen protector right here, which is the Nukin H Plus Pro, which I've actually reviewed previously. So, I'll leave that link in the description. You can see here that actually the oleophobic coating is actually gone. From this portion right here because this is the portion which i use the most where i swipe up i type and the portion which i touch the screen actually the most even the top right here you can see i've been swiping from the top top left so i think those are the portions which the oleophobic coating is basically removed it is quite normal for every glass protector even if you buy the most expensive glass protector this is actually going to happen to you so i've had this screen protector for i think about four months and it's time for me to actually put on this new screen protector and see what is the difference. So before I begin this unboxing and installation video of the Panzer Glass, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest content which I post every week. So without further ado, let's get right into the installation and unboxing. Okay guys, so we are back. As you can see, I have the Panzer Glass right here. So let's take a tour around the box. So right here on the front, you can see Panzer Glass logo. You can see Huawei P20 Pro. And it's black because this screen protector is actually H to H. And it actually covers the borders of the screen. So I'm not really a big fan of those screen protectors. That's why I got this screen protector, even though it doesn't cover the whole thing. But anyway, We'll try this out and I'll be very open with this product because I've never tried it and I'll give you a chance to see how it fares. As you can see on the bottom, this is the most probably the most important part of this screen protector. You can see design for Huawei. It's something like Apple's made for iPhone certification. Same like design for Samsung, similar to the other Autobox cases which I reviewed where they have the logo. This means that this company actually works together with Huawei in this case to actually produce a screen protector that is certified for their devices. This actually gives you the peace of mind in terms of when you're buying the product it's not going to damage your phone or cause any problems with the sensors and whatnot. You know, the phones have a ton of sensors these days and you don't want to obstruct those particular sensors. Okay, so taking a look at the bottom, you can see shock resistant Scratch resistant, 100% touch. You can see this is like super plus glass and they call it the Panzer glass, of course. Of course, it's marketing fluff until we test it. And you can see edge to edge installation. Okay, so let me give you a difference between this glass and the one I'm using now. Is that the one I'm using now does not have a border, it's not edge to edge. And on top of that, this is a full adhesive screen protector, which means that there's no air gap in the center. Unlike the Panzer Glass, which actually has adhesive only at the edges of the screen. I'm particularly not a fan of that as I actually tried it before and there's air gap in between. But nevertheless, let's try to install this right now on this phone and see how it looks like. But before that, let's but before that, let me open the box and see what it comes with. So you can see very nice presentation. You can look at this. Attention to detail right there. You can see it's a cloth material. See on top of here you get Panzer Glass. Which, which contains your regular set of installation accessories which are your microfiber cloth, some dust removal stickers and so on and so forth. And also you get an instruction manual right here in tons of languages as this is meant for export market. So you can see, let me put all that to the side and focus on the glass itself. So you can see there are more like quick start guide. Can I take this out? this at least you know it's very easy to actually misalign the screen protector so it's better to keep your screen on while installing the screen protector 
at least that's how I prefer to install my screen protectors. Okay, so putting that to the side, let's take a look at the screen protector itself. You can see Panzer glass sleeve. Taking that out, you can see there's a place where you actually pull out the adhesive. You can see this is the back. This is where you're going to be sticking the glass to your phone. You can see only adhesive at the edges of the screen protector. We'll take a closer look at that later and also the front where you actually pull off the second piece. Okay, so let's get this installed on the phone and I'll fast forward the process of the installation so you can see how I went about sticking the screen protector. So, let's begin. Alright, so guys, I'm back and I actually got this screen protector installed. And the installation process was basically pretty easy. I've installed many screen protectors since the day I started using phones. Actually, I've installed almost every screen protector myself, except for the ones from Clearcoat, which they do the installation for you. Okay, but anyway, coming back to this screen protector, very easy install, but does it justify the $149 price tag for a screen protector? Many of you would not be willing to pay so much for a glass protector. I mean like glass protector on the daily use, you know, just get a 30 to 40 ringgit glass protector. That would work. You know, it would serve the purpose of a glass protector. But however, let's see what are the unique features of this screen protector. Okay, so number one is very ins easy installation. So no problem right there. And the oleophobic coating on this screen protector is actually pretty impressive. I mean, I have had some issues in the past with oleophobic coating on screen protectors. You can see I have really greasy hands and actually I have trouble keeping my phones pretty clean. But you see, look at this. Just wipe it off and the glass is good as new. Of course, this glass is still pretty new as I just installed it. But looking at the fit and finish of this glass screen protector actually is really spot on. If you compare this with the China made glass screen protectors, they usually cover a little bit of the screen. You know, this black border around here, it is common. Even the one I have here on my iPhone, you can see it's pretty greasy. Uh, the one I have here on my iPhone 10 actually covers the screen slightly. So I'm not a big fan of that. I'll be probably getting this changed as well. But this one on the P20 Pro, this Panzer Glass actually is excellent. Let me show you a white screen so you can see how it looks, you can see this is the Panzer Glass website. And see, it, there's no like, any real estate of the screen which is covered by the borders of this screen protector. I mean, that is something you should give Panzer Glass credit for. As even if you spend 70 ringgit on a branded China screen protector, it wouldn't be this perfect. Talking about the good stuff about this screen protector, the oleophobic coating, the fit and finish of this screen protector and the ease of installation, there are some drawbacks, however, which I am not a really big fan of, but I'm willing to accept it due to the way this glass protector is actually made. So number one is the air gap in between the screen and the screen protector. So I mean like, you don't really see it, but you can know there's actually an air gap in between the screen, but of course it doesn't affect touch sensitivity at all. That's something I got to give them credit for again. As I've tried glass screen protectors like this, for my iPhone, for my S9 Plus, and they definitely do not work well. But this one, however, has basically, you don't you don't feel the air gap at all, but you can hear the sound. If, you, if the mic is picking it up, you can hear the sound of the air gap, but however, it doesn't really interfere with anything. So I can give that a win right there. However, if you're not a fan of a slight degradation in your screen quality, due to the slightly more reflective surface caused by the air gap, you're probably going to pass on this screen protector. 
To me, I think this screen protector is overall okay. If the screen is on, you actually don't really see the glare. You can see, you don't really see the glare actually. Uh, as compared to many of the China ones, I think they have maybe a polarizing layer, I guess, on this glass. So I think that actually helps the way this glass is laminated. But when the screen is off, you can actually see the borders up here. If, if the camera is picking that up, you can actually see the borders around the glass. And you can see how reflective this glass surface is. So that you might not be a big fan of that. But however, I actually, but however, I actually don't mind that. So I think overall this glass is actually pretty good. I had very low expectations, but it actually exceeded my expectations. So in conclusion, should you buy this glass screen protector or not? I mean, coming from my point of view, if I was going to use one glass screen protector for my phone and I really take care of my phone pretty well, I think spending 149 ringgit on the glass screen protector is pretty okay. Many of you would probably disagree with that, I know. And you say, oh, just buy this Nilkin one right here and it works the same. No, it still lasted you so many months. But if I'm looking for a long-term solution, this will probably be the glass screen protector. However, I'll do more testing on this screen protector and I'll let you know maybe in the Insta story. So do follow me on social media, especially on Instagram at droidtech underscore official. I'll be giving you my feedback on this glass screen protector maybe after a month of trying or maybe after a couple of weeks where I actually get this screen protector to actually settle down. And we'll test out the oleophobic coating as well because I'm really interested in how long this oleophobic coating is going to last as compared to a 30 ringgit screen protector. Okay, so before I end this video, I would like to show you the touch sensitivity as well as case compatibility of this screen protector. You can see there's actually no problems right here. I'm able to slide anywhere on the screen. You can see no problems right there. You can see right here. There's no problems, so you don't have to worry about your screen not being able to respond to touches. And also case compatibility. You can see I'm using the Autobox prefix right here. And there are no issues with a thick case like the Autobox prefix. So you can see pretty nice 360 degree combo. So it actually protects the screen, protects the side as well as the back. So you've got no worries when you drop your phone. So this is actually the best solution. If you're not a fan of this case, you can go with UAG as well. So not a, not a big deal, but I would definitely go with out the box. You can see my prefix video for the P20 Pro. I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. So you can check this case out. So okay, that's all for this video. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.